Drive is directed by Nicholas Winding Refn, stars Ryan Gosling, Carey Mulligan, Brian Cranston, Ron Perlman, and Oscar Isaac. Drive is about a driver. We never know his name. He's literally cast as a driver, played by Ryan Gosling, and he is a Hollywood stuntman in the daytime, and at night, he usually is a getaway driver for criminals. He worked with Brian Cranston's character, and he... They, Ryan Cranston builds cars for Hollywood movies and Ryan Gosling ends up using them for some of his heists for other criminals. I love this movie. I mean, it was, I was completely blown away by it. It is so good. I mean, it is, it's amazing because the first off, the direction by Nicholas Winning Refn is amazing. It's so good. It's so fantastic because he, the opening sequence is Gosling driving through LA at night and it's just so cool and quiet and all you hear is this awesome just like techno music. The music he always uses in his movies is great. The cinematography is amazing. Every shot that you see is perfect. That's it's like the whole movie. The direction is so good. The cinematography is so good. And you're just you're in the you're in the car with Gosling and he's just driving around and you're just seeing everything that he's seeing from his point of view. And every shot that Went Refn makes is so perfect. It's all so good. And I've noticed the use of color in this movie is so good. At night, whenever he's doing his jobs and he's this criminal, it's all yellow, yellowish, goldish tint. He even wears a gold jacket that simulates this part of his life. And then the daytime, it's blue. Blue rooms, he wears blue clothes. And Terry Mulligan is the love interest in the movie. She She's his next door neighbor and she's wearing blue a lot. So that's kind of his normal life is blue. And then this nightlife, this criminal life is goldish yellow. And I thought that was absolutely amazing. That carries throughout the whole movie. And just, it's so good. Ryan Gosling gives a great performance, even though in the writing, he doesn't say much. He has, he does not have a lot of lines at all. It's all through visual storytelling and the direction and winding ref and pulls it off greatly. I mean, it's not boring at all. You can read what's happening through these characters' faces and their expressions and what's going to happen based on nothing being said. It's brilliant, and he is an amazing director. This was the third movie I'd seen of his. I had seen Bronson and then Only God Forgives, also starring Ryan Gosling. That one was way more complex than this. This is easier to understand than that one but still i can see why a lot of people don't like it just because there's no dialogue people think that's stupid but it's really brilliant i mean it's a brilliant movie and one thing that i blew me away was the car chase sequences first off the opening sequence that i was talking about at the night and this is beautiful cinematography that has a fantastic car chase sequence and it's just ryan gosling is just cool and crisp the whole time he doesn't make a sound he doesn't do anything he's just doing an amazing job at acting and driving this car around and it's so good and it's just so cool you just want to be him after the movie i went and got my car and drove and i felt like ryan gosling in this movie i mean it's awesome and there's a couple other car chase sequences in the movies and i noticed the sound is so good the sound editing and the sound in general is so good especially for the cars the engine is so loud and it just sounds amazing this movie it has a steady story and it's just good and everything you're just following this you're following driver around and just everything he does and all he wants to do is just drive he doesn't want to hurt carrie mulligan he doesn't want to get her hurt and involved with these criminals ron perlman and albert brooks also is in it i forgot to mention him he doesn't want to get her involved he wants to protect her and he ends up wanting out because he gets caught up in the middle, he gets caught up in the middle of their mess, and he just wants out, and he ends up fulfilling himself, and is taking out all the criminals, and it's a beautiful ending, a beautiful character art for him, but we don't really know a depth to his character, but that's okay, because you, get, you have what you need in this movie, and that's all that really matters. Back to the use of color, there's a brilliant elevator scene in, with Ryan Gosling, Carrie Mulligan, and a thug who's trying to kill Gosling. And the elevator's gold, and everything about it is gold. The saturation is gold, and you're, you're, it's about that part of his life right now. And then a guy, they attack each other, they start fighting, and it's still gold and everything. And then Carrie Mulligan exits the elevator, 
and I thought this was a brilliant shot because she is dressed in blue and the background of the parking garage she is in is blue. So that I thought that was symbolizing like that's his only freedom. That's his way out of it. That's his life that he wants to live and it's blue and she's standing there and he's still in the elevator with the gold jacket and the gold colors and she ends up leaving. So that was his only hope of that life and it left. And so he's left in this gold yellowish nightlife, the criminal life, and he he really wants to get out of it. I mean, I just love how it cuts back and forth between the gold life and the blue life. You can tell, like, whenever he's having a good time and whenever he's himself because of the blue. And then the goldish yellowish scenes come up and you know you're back in the criminal, the bad life. I mean, it's just, it was a very impressive movie. I was, I love it. I love Drive and I think it's one that people need to be talking about more, and I think it will live on. And def I'm going to rewatch it multiple times. I mean, it was just amazing. And, like, everything that happens in the movie, the end result is he just drives. He ends up, there's a, oh, I forgot about the ending. So he, the final boss who is still alive, Ryan Gosling, has his money, and he just wants to give it back because he just wants out and Albert Brooks end up double crossing him and tries to kill him and they stab each other and Albert Brooks dies and Gosling and lives and there's this amazing shot that lasts what well, feels like forever and I was just tense I was holding my breath because you think he's dead because he had just been stabbed he got back and he's just staring and then he blinks and you know he's still alive and you can just oh like it's a relief he's still alive and he just drives away and he's driving and that's the last thing we see in the movie it's just him driving away he just drives that's all he wants to do. That's all he ever will do is drive. And it was it was amazing. I mean, drive. Okay, drive gets four and a half out of five stars. The only reason it doesn't get five stars is I mean, we would have liked for Gosling to talk a little more. Have I would have liked for him to have some more dialogue. But other than that, this movie's phenomenal. I I love Drive. It's incredible. Nicholas Winding Refn is proving to be an amazing director, and I can't wait to see what he does next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to be reviewing. I'm not sure what I'm going to be reviewing soon, but it'll be something. So thank you very much. Bye.